All right, YouTube. Yo, 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 what's up? It's Junkie, and I'm back with another how-to video. This video is... It's a video that needs to be made. Um, because I know as collectors, we have, we have problems with keeping our room clean, keeping the floors clean. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to dust and vacuum your comic book room slash man cave as Miss Haley plays. Uh, so what you'll need <coughs> is a vacuum cleaner and a normal cloth, okay? So what I do is I like to keep the cloth on the handle like this um, so I have access to it at all times as I'm vacuuming my room. And I have a, a vacuum here. Um, it's your pretty standard vacuum. Uh, but this vacuum here has a really good suction. So, so you, you really want to have a vacuum that'll, you know, really suck off all the dirt and all the debris off the carpet. So make sure when you're hunting for a vacuum, get the one that has the best sucking ability. Because nothing's worse than getting a vacuum that doesn't know how to suck or doesn't want to suck, and you're just, you're, you're screwed. You're stuck with it until you decide to, to dump it and get you another one that actually can suck a lot, you know, suck, you know, has a good suction to it. So that's the key. You're going to go through a couple of vacuums before you find the right one that has the good um, ability to suck. Now, on mine here has this little knob here, okay? Now, you want one that has a knob. You know, you, you get one that has a knob and, and one that has different settings of suction, okay? L you know, high carpet basically means there. it's not really going to do a very good job at sucking. It's going to, you know, basically it's just going to play with the dirt and not do a very good job of getting a good suction. Okay, then you have the medium-sized carpet. Um, that too is, uh, you know, it's it's okay for suction. It'll get it'll get you by for a few weeks, maybe a couple months, but it's not really going to do the job. What you want is the one that has the low carpet. Now, the low carpet setting is it's really going to get a good deep suction on the carpet. And it's really gonna it's really gonna suck off that you know that that carpet it's gonna suck off all that debris and you know the dust off your carpet so that's what you're looking for low carpet um and you also you know it's also good to find in a woman that has a low carpet but bare floor is you know self-explanatory it's like your tile floor or whatever like that but if you if you have a room that has carpet look for the low carpet uh, setting that's gonna give you your best suction okay so. And this here, like I said, is your normal dust rag. Okay, now what I'll do, now I'll, I'll, I'll dust and vacuum my room probably once every couple weeks. So what I do is I come along top of my boxes, and I just dust. You know, I just wipe off the tops. Because, you know, in any room, no matter how clean you are or how uh, organized you are, dust is going to come in your room and it's going to settle. No, it, it's, it just happens. And I live in Florida, and I'm sure if you live in a state that has, a, you know, a desert, you know, a desert state, you're going to get a lot of dust. So, just come through your room. I just go over the tops of the box like this. Just give a quick wipe. Um, fans, same thing. I just usually go over the fans real quick. Uh, your t If you have a TV in your room, I have, you know, I have a lot of black furniture in my house. So, what I like to do is just come across the top and just give it a quick wipe. You know, wipe your screen off because dust settles on the screen. Um, especially when it's on, you tend to see a lot of dust settle on the screen. So, as you can see, I have neglected my room. And I haven't dusted as often as I should. As you can see, there's some dust build up right there. And you can see the dust particles floating around as I dust. Um, what you could do to eliminate the dust particles floating around is you could wet your rag with like Windex or some kind of like cleaner, but you want to make sure it's not going to harm your TV and you're going to want to make sure it's not going to harm your, your your electronic equipment or your books or your boxes or anything like that. So, yeah, so this this is part one of this, of this video, just showing you how to dust. This is just your basic way to dust, you know, just wipe your counters off, um, do the best job you can. Um, the, the more often you dust, the better off you're going to be. Um, but yeah, that's how I dust, guys. So that part is done. Um, here's my laptop that I use for all my live streams. And thank you for everyone that tuned in last night to watch me and Sunshine Collects Things discuss certain topics of the YouTube community. 
And, uh, okay, now stay tuned for the vacuum. And I'm going to have Miss Haley help me show you how to vacuum. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next part. So, like I said, you want a vacuum that's got a really good suction. i got to move Miss Haley's toys out of here. So, we'll throw that in there. So, my vacuum is really nice. It's got a red button that lets me know that's the power button, okay? And this little foot pedal here, I just press this. And it unlocks the, the vacuum. Now, Miss Haley is going to go ape shit when I turn this thing on. Because her and the vacuum don't get along. And they like to fight until she realizes it's way too big for her. And she can't handle it. So, here we go, guys. It's going to get loud, but bear with me. Okay. As you can see, Miss Haley is going to attack it. But I like to go over the floor a couple times. Just, you know, like I said, you want a really good suction. And uh, that's, that's the key. If you can find a, a vacuum that's got a really good suction to it, keep it forever. They're a keeper. Because, you know, I feel like the vacuums of today, the modern vacuums, don't have a good suction to them. So they're, they're not really keepers. You'll keep it for a month or two and then you'll get rid of it. But the older vacuums tend to have... A lot better suction. Look, I mean, look at the look at the look at the carpet. See how it's leaving a nice trail. You, you know, it's getting a good. You know, it's it's really sucking it off. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's how I clean my room. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Um, stay tuned for more how-to videos for your comic book collection and how to keep your room clean. This is the junkie. Remember, you just want to get a vacuum that really sucks it off. All right? It's junkie, and I'm out. Peace.